Good morning, friends, and happy Wednesday. Uh, I never played uh, football on a team in, in high school and certainly not in college. But one of the things that I'm very well aware of that at every level of football, high school, college, and certainly the professionals and semi-pros uh, is what we call the Monday morning quarterbacking. After the game, going through films, uh, going through notes that were made, what went right, what went wrong on that Sunday game. Of course, sometimes that happens on other days, um, but to look back at what you did and to analyze it so that the next time you're playing, you can do it better and have the victory that you desire. In a sense, Jesus is doing a little bit of Monday morning quarterbacking in today's gospel and throughout the gospels. After he has uh, encounters of healing and, and blessing, he gets away. He gets to a quiet place and he looks over what happened. He prayerfully reflects with the Father. Um, not that Jesus was making mistakes, but he wants to give all glory and honor to the Father. He wants to know that this is happening because of the Father's work through him. And, and friends, the work of Jesus is always, the life of Jesus is always a model for us. So I encourage you in these crazy days before back to school, at the end of the season, Labor Day weekend, can you take some time and and look back over the last day or the last week, maybe over the last few hours. What was God trying to do? What did God do? Were you relying more on yourself or more on God? This examination of conscience is such a blessing to me. Uh, it corrects me and sets me back on the right path. I might not be playing in a football game, but I still want victory. Victory as a Christian, victory in Christ. And I know you want that too. And so may he bless you and keep you the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit Amen. Again, please subscribe to this YouTube channel so that we can get where we need to be for live streaming. Peace to you.